The President, please be seated. The Chamber is now back in session. Before the graphier is instructed to read the statement of the witness, the chamber will make an oral decision in response to the request by the defense counsel as follows. The chamber has noticed the request made by the defense counsel for the review of the list of statements to be read during the proceedings. The Chamber will review the list of the statements as it intended to be read, and it will decide which statements to be read out and which needs to be summarized or identified. In the meantime, Dans and for practical reason, et pour des the trial chamber will continue to read the statement la in full for the rest of this afternoon as scheduled. The greffier Sarkovuti is instructed to read a statement of the records of interview of witness Kong Pai, du procès verbal d'audition du témoin Monsieur Kong Pai. D28/1. Il s'agit du document D28 barre de fraction 1. D53. D54 and D48 slash 2. 48 bar de fraction 2. The graph here. Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case File Number 002, dated 14 August 2006, Investigation Number 001, dated 18 July 2007. Written Record of Interview of Witness. Procès verbal d'audition de témoin. The year 2007, 2007, the month of December, de the 27th day, at 9 hours 30 minutes, at the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia. Au I, Samsoria, investigator Nous, of the Extraordinary Chambers, assigned by the rogatory letter of the co-investigating judges, dated 21st November 2007, 2007 met the witness Kung Pai on 19 December 2007 at his home in Kampung Trolai district, Kampung Chenang province. Since he was busy, he requested that we interview him at the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia on 27 December 2007. Having seen the law on the establishment of the Extraordinary Chambers dated 27 October 2004, having seen Rules 24, 28 and 60 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers, have recorded the statements of Kung Pai, a witness who provided the following information regarding his personal identity. Name, Kung Pai, a revolutionary name, non, born on 4th of May 1960. This person declared that he could read, write and understand the Khmer language. Therefore, the original of this written record is written in the Khmer language. We advise this person that the taking of this statement is being audio or video recorded. This person told us that 
He had no relationship with the charged person and civil parties. This person took an oath in accordance with the provisions of Rule 24 of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers. We notified this person of the right against self-incrimination in accordance with the provisions of Rule 28 of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers. Question answer. Question réponse. Question. Question. On 17 April 1975, where were you and what were you doing? Response. Et que faisiez-vous? Réponse. I was in the Pini Sap District Militia, Kampung Trola District, Kampung Chnang Province. Pini, district Kampung Trola, I transported Kampung food Chnang. supplies from Je the Sap District to the battlefield front at Spin. Spin. The Sap District Militia has grown that rise on its own. De la réfo, de la the leader de of the Sap District Militia was Tapun, also from Kampung Trola District. And that Jim was the district military chief. I took those supplies to sub-district militia forces stationed there to attack and cut off communication between Lonol troops. Question. Can you please describe your journey from Kampong Chnang to Phnom Penh? Question. Can you please describe your journey from Kampong Chnang to Phnom Penh? In early 1976, I left the Sap District for Phnom Penh. There were three of us from the same district. One has died, the other is still alive, said, living at Kreng Ta'ai village, Pini Sap District, Kampung Trola District, Kampung Chnang Province. Said, studied at the Tak Mai Training School, but he did not work at S21. I don't know who transported me from the sub-district because they came to get us at night. I studied military subjects at the Dakma school for three months and 28 days. The chairman was Yem, in charge of military techniques. Question. Question. When did you arrive at S21? Response. I went to a youth unit along the river south of Takmao for one dry season before I went to the former prison in 1977. I was there throughout the rainy season in a children's unit with hundreds of children doing rice transplanting and coconut tree planting. A new tree, a child medic at Preiso. I don't know where he is now. He had a large and tall build, a clear complexion, a slow, graceful gait and straight hair. Later, I went to Bang Tumpun for one dry season to work during the dry season rice and plant Chinese radish. The team leader was Pon. He had one crippled arm. We separated when the Vietnamese came. Later, I went to tend the crops, grow pumpkins and soybeans south of the psychiatric hospital. I saw shackles and blood stains in the three-story concrete building and saw slowly buried bodies swelling up and cracking the ground in a compound. It looked like a prison which had just ceased operations, but I don't know who the prisoners had been. I can't remember the senior chairman there. I was there throughout one wait season. La Question. What la next? De floraison, uh, des Response. Question. I went to Après, office 21, S21. The same Réponse. person named Pawn came to take me there. In mid-1977, I arrived at S21 first as a guard along the S21. wall Je, with début, Mo, avec le de who Défense, had a disease and died in 1978 Mo, Mo, as my chairman. Hing was a colleague who was relieved by my Yang, shift. 
I don't know et where ayant, he is now. Ying, comme collègue qui l'avait remplacé, je ne sais pas où il est maintenant, mais en 1979, il était encore vivant. The chairman above Mo was Le chef Sri. au-dessus de Mo s'appelait Sri. A platoon leader. I don't know Le where he is now. He was alive in 1979. Maintenant, je ne sais pas où il est. Il était vivant en 1979. I can't the other je ne me souviens plus. I did not know both. responsable plus grand Question. la personne What did you see while on guard outside? Response. I saw them de taking prisoners in and out. Réponse. J'ai vu qu'on I opened the gate by recognizing the faces of the interrogators porte, going in and out. One of whom was Toi, white, toi. tall, Awkward gate. I don't know where he non, is now. He was alive in 1979. In 1978, I saw three Americans brought in through the entrance I was guarding. The entrance to the south of the present entrance. Et the place where they sud, kept important prisoners. All three of them were held on the second important. floor in the different cells. I saw Doj, Ho and Chan, some Rang, come to the interrogate them. Then I took rice Ensuite, to one of the three, and I saw Doj interrogating that man with long curly red hair down to his shoulders. He was of white complexion with chest hair, wearing shorts. Before Doj interrogated him, he was wearing a short sleeve camouflage t-shirt. Then Hyung, who had the next shift at night, told me that they had taken Après, all three of them away. He did not know where, and they disappeared after that. Sometimes I guarded the cells and saw Vietnamese female prisoners arrive. I was a guard, and I brought food for them. I learned from an interrogator that those women had been the prostitutes of the Vietnamese soldiers whom the Khmer Rouge soldiers had attacked, and they had been captured and brought in. I guarded one male Vietnamese soldier. Later on, I went to guard the gate at the wall, and I don't know where he went to. I did not know the names of the senior prisoners. Sometimes I took prisoners who were handcuffed and blindfolded to be interrogated at other places east of my site. Were you there until the end? Response. I was there until S21 fell in 1979. Réponse. J'étais là jusqu'à la chute de Question. Did you ever study under or receive instructions from Doj? Response. I studied twice for about two or three days each time. I studied preventing prisoner escapes. The party statute, the political situation, and the war. Dutch taught this in person. He said, the youth are the party's bamboo sprouts, which replace the bamboo. Question, did Dutch and Hall get along personally? Respond, I saw them work together normally. Chen was Dutch's messenger. His description, clear complexion. Strong build, average height, thick body. He was not married at that time. His place of birth was on land. Question. Did you see any of those who were with you get arrested? Question. Respond. I never saw that. I just know we separated in 1979. Question. Did you know anyone else? In what section? Question. The most senior person was Dutch. Next was Ho, the deputy. Réponse, Chan, la personne Sam Rang Rang was the member. Consulte, Hor, the guard, Chan, interrogation and arrest unit, the cooks, the medical unit. Three was chairman de, of my guard unit. Hoi, Tiep, or short Hoi, and Peng were the chairman of the arrest unit. That unit used about four or five Soviet and Chinese trucks 
to go make a rest in the zone. Unité, Aside from this, I have forgotten everything. Jill. Une marque chinoise. Question. Did you ever see them take the blood from the prisoners? Question. Never. Avez-vous vu qu'on prélevait le sang des prisonniers? Question. Did you ever see interrogators torture prisoners? Response. I did see that. Question. I saw interrogators beating prisoners with whips, giving them electrical shocks. I heard the screams of the prisoners. I saw medics come to treat injured prisoners. All of the interrogators tortured prisoners. Doi was an interrogator too. Tous les interrogateurs Question. sont les prisonniers par milieu, il avait tout lui, torture, qui était aussi un interrogateur. Question. Est-ce que yes. c'est lui qui avait donné l'ordre de torturer Réponse oui. Euh, J'ai entendu ça de la bouche de Duc à l'école, du chef de la compagnie. The prisoners were enemies. Ils disaient que les prisonniers étaient des ennemis answer, et que s'ils ne répondaient pas, on pouvait utiliser la torture. Question. Question. When you fled in 1979, what were the orders of Deutsch about what was to be done with the prisoners? Response. By that time, there were no prisoners at the site I gathered. Several days before 7 January 1979, I was sent to guard at the big building at the day's entrance gate. Since there were so many prisoners, Parce those prisoners were killed, tous ces some at Tours Lang, and some were transported to Chiang They Chiang were all gone before we fled. Ils ont tous I saw this killing with my own eyes. Avant I did not see Deutsch de there. Vu des but gens, if he had pas vu not arranged it, cet -là, mais si no pas one eu would de have Duke, dared to do it. Osez faire Question. Cela. Many thanks. Question, je vous remercie. After it was read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign one copy of one of several originals of the written statement was provided to this witness. The interview was completed at 12.25 p.m. on the same date. Witness. Compai. Le témoin, Compai. The Office of Co-Prosecutor Criminal Case File 002, dated the 14th of August 2006. Interrogation number 001, dated on the 18th of July 2007. The record of the Procédure confrontation, 2008, the February the 28th day at 4, at, correction, at 5 past 4 p.m. We, Yu Bun Lane et and Marcel Lemont, co-investigating judges of the extraordinary chambers, with Mr. Hom Hell and Mr. Lee Chantola as greffiers, noting the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers, dated on the 27th of October 2004, noting the rule, Rule 58, of the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers. With the presence of O Chan Nora and Tan Hien Dawan, sworn interpreters of the extraordinary chambers, the charged person identified below has appeared before us. Kang Gek Eo, alias Dutch, male, born on the 17th of November 1942. Charged with crimes against humanity and grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions of the 12th of August 1949. 
offenses defined and punishable under Articles 5, 6, 29 new and 39 new of the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers dated on the 27th of October 2004. The co-prosecutors of the extraordinary the chambers, Mr. Robert Petit and Mrs. Chia Liang, were duly notified of this interview by notification letter dated the 19th of February 2008. Mrs. Chia Liang is present. Mr. Robert Petit is represented by his assistant, Alex Bates. Son assistant, Monsieur Alex Bates. Casa Wood and Franz Quaru, co-lawyers for the charged Maitre person who were duly informed of this interview by summons date on the 19th of February 2008 and have been able to examine the case file since that time are both present. The witnesses Him Hui, Brak Khan, Suos Thi, Kung Pai, Mom Nai, Wan Nat, and Sao Maid, who have already taken an oath according to Rule 24 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers, are present. Mr. Chum Mai and his lawyer, Mr. Hong Kum Soon, who were duly informed of this interview by summons dated 19th of February 2008, and have been able to examine the case file since that time, are present. Mr. Bu Meng and his Monsieur lawyer, Mr. Yong Panet, who were duly informed of this interview by some months dated 19th of February 2008, and have been able to examine the case file since that time, are present. The original of this record is written in Khmer. Confrontation. Question by the co-investigating judge, Marcel Le Monde. Yesterday, you accompanied us to Duel's Lang and provided us with a certain explanation. Do you confirm that these explanations correspond to the truth? Answer by witness Kung Pai. Yes, I do. Oui, je confirme. The original of the audio-visual recording was sealed in front of the charged person and his lawyers and was signed by us, the greffier, the charged person, the co-prosecutors and his lawyers. A copy of the original audio-visual recording was provided to the charged person. Due to technical reasons, it was not possible to give a copy of the audio-visual recording to each of the persons taking part in the confrontation. And we provided the witnesses with ci and civil parties with a copy of the written record. At 35 past 4 p.m., we had the greffier read aloud this written record of confrontation as recorded. The written record having been read aloud and heard, the charged person and the civil parties had no objections and agreed to sign. Witness, Kung Pai. La personne mise en examen n'a pas d'objection et accepte de signer. Parmi les signatures, Kung Pai, témoin. Karyalai, Sahajikram, Sub Enquête. The Office of Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case File 002, dated the 14th of August 2004. Correction, 6. Investigation number 001, 18th of July 2007. 
written record of confrontation. De confrontation. The 29th of February, 2008, at 9.20 a.m. We, Yu Bunlin and, and Marcel Lemong, co-investigating judges of the Extraordinary Chamber, with Mr. Hom Hell and Mr. Lee Chan Tola as greffiers, noting the law on the established of the Extraordinary Chamber dated the 27th of October 2004, noting Rule 58 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. With U Chan Nora and Tan Hien Davan, sworn interpreters of the Extraordinary Chambers, the charged person identified below has appeared before us. Kang Gek Eo, alias Doj, male, born on the 17th of November 1942. Charged with crimes against humanity and grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions of the 12th of August 1949. Offenses defined and punishable under Articles 5, 6, 6 29 new and 39 new of the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers, dated 27 October 2004. The co-prosecutors of the Extraordinary Chambers, Mr. Robert Petit and Mrs. Chia Lian, were duly notified of this interview by notification letter dated 19th of February 2008. Mrs. Chia Lian is present. Mr. Robert Petit is represented by Mr. Alex Bates, Senior Assistant Co-Prosecutor. Carza Wood and Francois Roux, co-lawyers for the charged person, who were duly informed of this interview by summons dated 19th February 2008, and have been able to examine the case file since that time are both present. The witnesses, Tim Hoi, Prak Khan, Suat Thi, Kung Pai, Mom Nai, Wan Nat, Mok Sitim and Sao Maid, who were sworn in pursuant to Rule 24 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers, are present. Mr. Chum Mei and his lawyer, Mr. Hong Kum Suan, who were duly informed of this interview by summons dated 19th February 2008, and have been able to examine the case file since that time, are both present. Mr. Bu Ming and his lawyer, Mr. Yong Pan who were duly informed of this interview by someone dated 19 February 2008 and have been able to examine the case file since that time, are both present. The original of this record is written in Khmer language. Confrontation. Confrontation. Question by co-investigating Judge Marcel Le Monde to the witnesses. Did you witness the mass execution scenes in January 1979? Witness Kung Pai, I confirm 
Je what confirme I declare ce que j'ai déclaré 26, le 27 7, décembre 2007. 2007. J'ai assisté à des exécutions quelques jours avant le 7 janvier 1979. But Mais I did not je n'y ai pas take participé moi-même. Question by co-investigating judge uh, Marcel Le Monde. Do you confirm the declarations you made before the co-prosecutors on the 14th of August 2006 and before the investigators of the Office of Co-Investigating Judges on the 27th of December 2007. Witness Gong Pai. Yes, I confirm. I told the truth. I indicate that I saw Dutch interrogating prisoners, but I did not see him torture them. Question by co-investigating judge Marcel Le Monde to witness Compay. During the reconstitution, lors de la reconstitution, during the reconstitution at Dulslang, you indicated that you indeed witnessed the presence and use of a bathtub such as the one in the museum and painted by one man. Do you confirm you saw this in a building outside of Dual Slang? Witness Kung Pai. Yes, I confirm. In the special prison located outside Dual Slang. Question by co-investigating judge Marcel Le Monde to, le monde to Kong Pai. During the reenactment at Dulslang, you said you recognized the blackboard in which the Santibar regulations uh, were written. Can you explain in which condition did you see that blackboard? Witness Gong Pai, that blackboard was put on the ground floor of the special prison next to the pathway in order for everyone to follow. The written uh, the original original copy was sealed before the charged person, person and his lawyer and that uh, we the greffier, the prosecutors and greffier, his lawyers and the charged person have already signed on it. A copy of the original audiovisual recording was provided to the charged person. For technical reasons, it was not possible to provide a copy of the audiovisual recording to each of the participants. So the civil parties and witnesses were given a copy of the written record. At uh, 25 past 5 p.m., we had the greffier read allowed this written record of confrontation as recorded. After having been Après read aloud and heard, the charged person, witnesses and the civil parties had no objections and agreed de to sign. Signer. Witness Kung Pai. Témoin, Kung Pai. Bureau des co-juges d'instruction. The Office of Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case Monsieur File 002. 002 dated 14th of August 2006, investigation number 001, 18th July 2007, report on reconstruction. 
in the year 2008, 2008 on the 27th février, of February at 8 a.m. Noting the judicial investigation opened against Kang Gek Eo, alias Doj, charged with crimes against humanity and grave breaches of Geneva Conventions of the 12th of August 1949. Crimes defined and punishable par les under Rules 5, 6, 5, 6 29 6, 5, new nouveau, and 39 9, new of the law on the establishment of the Extraordinary Chambers dated 27th October, October 2004. Noting Rule 55.8 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. Noting the Ordinance de Transport, dated 21st of February 2008. We, Yu Bun Leng and Marcel Le Monde, co-investigating judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the courts of Cambodia. Assisted, assisted by Mr. Hom Hell and Mr. Lee Chan Tok La, Greffiers, and by Mr. Tan Hien Davan and Mr. U Chan Nora, sworn interpreters of the Extraordinary Chambers, traveled to Tool Slang Genocide Museum in Phnom Penh. At Tool Slang, we were joined by Mrs. Chia Liang and Mr. Robert Petit, the co-prosecutors of the Extraordinary Chambers. Kang Gek Eo, alias Doj, assisted by his lawyers, Mr. Kazavut and Mr. Franz Poru. Civil Party Chum Mai, assisted by his lawyer, Mr. Hong Kum Soon. Civil Party Bu Meng, assisted Party by his assisted lawyer, Mr. Jong Panet. Panet. Witness Wan Na, Mom Nai, Su Thi, Him Hoi, Sao Mate, Sao Mate. Prak Khan, Khan, Kung Pai. Kung Pai. Expert Zoran Lesic, designated Lesage, by means of the ordinance dated the 12th of February 2008, was also in attendance for the purpose of this report and took the photographs which are featured to the present report and next one. The charged person said that he knows Wan Nat, Bu Meng, Chum Mai, Mom Nai, Susti, and Him Hui. Witness Kung Pai stated that he knows Doj, Mom Nai, and Him Hui. Wan Nat, Bu Meng, Chum Mai, Mom Nai, Susti, and Him Hui. Le témoin. Witness Kung Pai stated that after his stint as a guard outside, he was assigned to the special prison behind the building A. He said that he saw Dutch coming to the special prison to interrogate prisoners. He added that the guards here could not enter the special prison, but the ones from the special prison could come in here. He was assigned to guard this building very shortly before the Vietnamese arrived. He said that he did not know all the interrogators by name. He described the various forms of torture, Clams in the toenails, ducking in ice water. 
After being interrogated, the prisoners were taken to some other locations, but he does not know where. With regard to the photo of prisoners lying down in a line, one not explained that this is how he was held. See the paragraph number 9.1 below. Witnesses Prakorn and Kung Pai recognized that this type of room existed. Before the water tanked, Suti and Prakorn declared that the water tank did not exist at that time. Kung Pai explained that he saw that water tank outside the prison compound and inside the special prison. He added that The drum on this place near the bust was used to fill with ice water. Other witnesses provided some confirmations regarding the killing. Kung Pai still insisted that he stood by his statement that he was present during a, an execution at night. He indicated that the victims were buried next to the special prison inside the S21 premises as they were at the time of the events, but outside the current premises. The participants then left the room without any incident. The reconstruction was photographed and videoed and a copy of the audio video, video recording was given to the accused. The original of the report was written in the Khmer and French and then translated into English. The graphics, Li Yantola, Hom Hel. The president. After hearing the statements of the witness and the written record of the confrontation and the reconstruction as read out by the graphier, for this witness, do the co-prosecutors have any observations to make? Co-prosecutor, Mr. President, for the testimonies of the witness Kung Pai as read out by the Greffier, on behalf of the co-prosecutors, we do not have any objection. The President. The President. And the Civil Party Council, do you have any observations to make? Regarding the statements as read out by the greffier, the position that the greffier vient de donner lecture. Maître Werner, non, aucune. Je remercie Monsieur le Président. The President. The President. The Defence Council. Je m'adresse à présent au Conseil de la Défense. Do you have any observations you wish to make? Regarding the statements which have just been read by the graphier, dont les graphiers viennent de donner lecture. 
The statements belong to the witness Kung Pai. Il s'agit des dépositions relatives au témoin Kung Pai. Oui, Monsieur le Président, la, la défense a un problème. Euh, Est-ce que le bureau des coprocureurs pourrait indiquer à la Chambre lesquels de leurs témoins disent la vérité Ce témoin contredit un certain nombre de déclarations qui ont été faites devant cette Chambre par les autres témoins du procureur. Par exemple, quand ce témoin vient de dire que Douk a interrogé lui-même, d'autres témoins du procureur sont venus dire le contraire. Quand ce témoin dit qu'il y avait une baignoire, D'autres témoins du procureur ont dit le contraire. Quand ce témoin dit qu'il a vu les dix règles de discipline sur les murs, encore ce matin, nous avons entendu un autre témoin du procureur qui dit le contraire. Ma question est la suivante, adressée au bureau des coprocureurs. Pour la clarté des débats, pouvez-vous indiquer à la Chambre lequel de vos témoins dit la vérité Vous rendrez service à la défense, mais aussi à la manifestation de la vérité. The President, the International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Your Honours, uh, we all heard Your Honours' question to my learned friend whether he objects to the admission of this witness testimony into evidence without calling this witness to the court. Uh, my learned friend, once again, did not respond to Your Honour's question. Uh, responding to the matter raised by my learned friend, Your Honours, being very experienced judges, are well aware that a trial of this nature will clearly not have every witness repeating a testimony as if every witness was telling the same story. They are all humans. There are at times some differences in the way one witness describes an event from the way another witness describes an event. I think it's early at this stage to get into this. After all, this is what your honors will do at judgment. And this is what we shall argue at the time of closing submissions as to the weight to be assigned to the testimony of every witness heard by your honors. So my most respectful submission to your honors is it's premature at this stage to get into who is right, who is wrong. Uh, that's not my job. It's your honors business to do to ascertain the truth. After all, we are assisting your honors in that matter. I would most respectfully request my learned friend to respond to your honors question whether he has any objection to the admission of this particular witness's testimony. Thank you. The President, Mr. François Roux, do you have anything to respond? Vous souhaitez répondre à cette observation voilà. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. La défense ne s'oppose évidemment pas Obviously, the defense à ce que ce is témoignage soit versé au débat. The putting of this Il souhaite testimony que le procureur réponde à la question qui a été posée, lesquels de vos témoins disent la vérité, en put. face de deux say, affirmations contradictoires. Which of your witnesses is telling the truth in light of two contradictory statements? The president. Le président. The chamber would like to give the opportunity to the accused to make his observations regarding the statements being which were read by the graph here. If you wish to do so, 
Monsieur l'accusé, je vous en prie. The accused, Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, the general situation surrounding the crimes committed at S21, the testimony by Gong Pai is minimal. It is only a minimal part to assist the chambers and the nations as a whole to understand the truth. D'aider la Chambre Some et l'ensemble de la nation à. Events raised by Kong Pai, for example, regarding his allegation that I interrogated prisoners. This type of testimony, par exemple, bien ce type in addition dans le témoignage, to the alleged Ten regulations of Sante Bald on the blackboard were extensively discussed before this chamber. Reasons by both sides were put before the chamber. Therefore, par conséquent, I think. It is problematic with the testimony of the witness Gong Pai. There is an English proverb that uh, one problematic. One swallow doesn't make a season. Come on, dit. So this is up to the judgment of the chamber as it has been discussed extensively. Separately, regarding the dudes whom I requested from Kampong Chenang, I would make a summary on this topic when the facts regarding those dudes uh, have been put before the chamber. This is my response, Mr. President. Au débat, à ce moment-là, voici ma réponse en substance. The President. Le Président. It is now time for the adjournment. The chamber will adjourn the proceeding today. And we will resume our proceeding tomorrow. Starting at 9 a.m. À partir de 9 heures. And parties and the publics are reminded that tomorrow the chamber will hear the testimony of an expert witness, David Chandler. Que la chambre entendra notre témoin expert, Security Guard. Take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back to the chamber before 9 a.m. The hearing is now adjourned. All rise, says the graffier.